getting started in Project 2016. Once you have Project 2016 installed, go ahead and open it on your computer. When you open Project 2016 for the first time, you have a few choices in how you want to get started. You can open a project you recently opened with Project, or you can start a new project. When you open Project, you'll see this window. Any recent projects will be listed on the left under Recent. You can also open other projects that are saved on your computer or on your OneDrive by clicking Open Other Projects on the left. You can also choose to start a new project using one of the many templates Project provides. They are found on the right. Any project that you create in Project will begin with a template, even if it's a blank template. A blank template doesn't have any graphics, formatting or anything else. It's just a blank, empty project. However, it's still a template. You can see the blank project template here. You can also choose pre-designed templates that already have formatting and other features added. You can choose pre-designed templates by category or by the type of project. In addition, you can create a project from an already existing project, an Excel workbook, or a SharePoint task list. You can use the search box above the thumbnails of the templates to search for the one that you want. For this course, we'll be using a blank project. When you want to start a new project in Project 2016, you have two choices. You can either open a template or open an existing project, as we just learnt. To open a new project, you can do so when Project first opens, or you can do so by clicking on the File tab in Project. The File tab takes you to Backstage View. Click in the new column on the left here, and you'll see the templates. To start a new project, click on a template. Before, we clicked on Blank Project, which gave us this screen here. When you open a new project, the project will open in Gantt Chart View by default. The project is blank. All you have to do to get started is start entering tasks for the new project. If you're using a trial of project, you will see a yellow strip below the ribbon, as you can see here. This lets you know how much time you have remaining on your trial. It also provides a button if you should decide you want to purchase the program. When you create a new blank project, you will see the project window on your screen. It looks like this. Let's take a few minutes to learn our way around the project interface. At the top left of the project window, you'll see the Quick Access Toolbar, a feature shared by all Microsoft products. This is the Quick Access Toolbar here. The Quick Access Toolbar gives you fast access to the tools that you use the most. For example, if you use a certain tool a lot, such as the Cut tool, you can add that to the Quick Access Toolbar rather than having to use the ribbon each time. In other words, you can choose which tools appear in the toolbar. By default, the Quick Access Toolbar contains shortcuts for the Save, Undo and Redo features. However, you can customise the toolbar to display the shortcuts for the tools that you use the most. To customise the Quick Access Toolbar, click the drop down menu to the right of the toolbar, which looks like this. When you click on it, you'll see a drop down list. Click on the tools that you'd like to add to the Quick Access Toolbar. The tools that have a check mark beside them are the tools that are currently already on the toolbar. By the same token, when you click on a shortcut, it will put a check mark beside it, letting you know that it appears on the Quick Access Toolbar. We've just clicked New, and you can see that the new icon now appears on the toolbar. If you want to add a shortcut for a tool that doesn't appear in the drop down list, go to the ribbon, then Find the tool that you want to add, such as fill colour here. Right click on the tool. Then select Add to Quick Access Toolbar. You can see that it's been added to the Quick Access Toolbar here. If you want to move a command button into the toolbar into a different location or group it with other buttons on the toolbar, click the drop down arrow besides the Quick Access Toolbar. Then select More Commands. You'll then see this dialog box here. In the right column, you can see everything that already appears on the Quick Access Toolbar, and in the order that the shortcuts appear. If you want to reorder the tools, click on a tool, then use the arrows on the right here to move it up or down. If you want to group buttons together on the Quick Access Toolbar, 
you can add vertical separators. To do this, select the tool for which you want to appear above the separator. We've selected background color. Now click on the separator button on the left here. Then click on add. You can see a separator has been added below the background color. In addition to a separator, you can also add any of the tools that appear in the column on the left to the quick access toolbar. Simply click on the tool to select it, then click on the add button. To remove shortcuts from the quick access toolbar, select the shortcut in the right column, then click the remove button. Click OK when you're finished. At the very top of the project window, you will see the title bar. The title bar is helpful to be able to find because it shows you the name of the project that you currently have open. By default, the name of a new project is Project 1. For each additional new project, for each additional new project that you open, the name increases by one digit. Project 2, Project 3, and so on. If you start project by clicking on an already existing publication on your computer, it will open automatically and your publication will be displayed in the project window. You'll find the ribbon directly below the title bar. The ribbon is organized into tabs, then groups, and finally tools and commands. The tabs are located at the top of the ribbon. The tabs in Project 2016 are File, Task, Resource, Report, Project, View, and Format. The name of the tab gives you a general idea as to what groups and tools you'll find under that tab. For example, the Task tab contains tools that relate to tasks. Let's click on the Task tab. Each tab is broken down into groups. The groups contain tools and commands that relate to the name of the group. The font group is highlighted here. This group contains tools to format fonts. The Backstage view is located under the File tab on the ribbon. When you click on the File tab, this is what you'll see. The Backstage view allows you to manage your project as a whole project. While the other tabs on the ribbon allow you to manage parts, such as fonts, the Backstage view allows you to work with the project in its entirety. You can save the project, open a new or existing project, and much more. Click the arrow in the top left corner to return to the main project window. The entry bar appears below the ribbon. This is where you will enter tasks into the timeline. The workspace is located below the entry bar. The project screen is shown here with the Gantt chart view being the view that is displayed by default. You can change the view in the workspace by going to view on the menu bar. We'll learn more about these as we go through the course. Below the workspace is the status bar where you can zoom or change the views. While memorizing the parts of the interface is not critical to being able to use the software, it will be extremely helpful as we work our way through this course together. Please take a minute and review if you feel like you need to. The Tell Me tool is new to Project 2016. Consider it the new help tool on steroids, because it not only provides help, it provides instant access to the tools that you need to accomplish any task within Project. The Tell Me tool is located toward the left side of the screen above the ribbon. We've highlighted it here. To use the Tell Me tool, simply click on it and then type in what you want to do. For example, add a task. As you can see here, a drop down menu appears. The drop down menu contains help topics related to the terms that you typed into the box. Of course, Insert Task is what we wanted help with. So we are going to select Insert Task. A new task is then inserted above the task we have selected in the Gantt chart view. There's no longer a need to search help files or watch a video to learn to do a task. Project 2016 does it for you.